So a lot has changed technically since Mortal Kombat. So the tech team has been hard at work for, with an all-new real-time lighting system. They have an all-new character material system, so the characters look really realistic. We have multi-threaded the render, so we can just sort of render more stuff on screen, so the game looks really incredible. Our engineers have really uh, pulled out all the stops and are squeezing every bit of performance that we can get. In comic books, the characters are very bold and bright and graphic because you're dealing with hand-drawn imagery, whereas in our game we have the ability to render materials and a lot of details. So what we're trying to do is make these characters feel as if they've stepped off the page. You can see the leather and the metal and the rivets and all the things that make their costumes have dimension and weight in the real world. A lot of the action in Injustice is over the top. We have people grabbing cars and throwing them at people. We have people bouncing off objects all around the arena. And there's nothing more cinematic in the game than our super moves. Our super moves are these really big kind of uh, blockbustery events that would probably blow out the budget on a, on a summer blockbuster. So our mantra for this game has always been, this is the big blockbuster summer movie that you've always wanted to see with superheroes. The environment choice in Injustice is just as important as the character choice. We have several interactable zones spread out among each one of the environments, and they're not cookie cutter. They're not placed in the exact same place for each environment. So depending on your style of gameplay, you're going to want to pick an environment that kind of eases towards your, your style of gameplay. We have multiple levels on many of the arenas as well, and every time you play the game, it's going to be a, a little bit different. The button layout has changed in Injustice from Mortal Kombat. First, we got rid of the block button. You now hold back to block for all attacks. Also, three attack buttons, light, medium, and hard. So the additional button we call the character trait button, and that's a specific attack designed to showcase each character. So in the case of Nightwing, he uses the button to switch between his Kali stance using Kali sticks and his staff stance where he uses a staff, and there's completely different attacks. In the case of Cyborg, he uses the button to sort of charge up his health, so you're going to get different effects for every character. The combo system in Injustice will feel very familiar. Instead of using a special move to start a combo, you actually will use your special moves to link combos. You can also cancel out of a combo to link into a level transition or into a pop-up. DC's been incredibly supportive on this project and actually pushing us to take things farther than we ever thought we'd be able to get away with. Superman in particular was fun to work on. We had a lot of freedom with trying things as far as materials and adding little armor bits and playing with the way that his logo ties into his cape, things like that, which normally you'd think you wouldn't have the freedom to play with, with such an iconic character, but DC was very supportive the whole way. The coolest thing about working on Injustice is obviously learning a, a lot more about the, the DC lore. DC has such a wealth of information and such a wealth of uh, knowledge about their characters that it's really fun to kind of pick the brain of working with them and figuring out what would make their characters fit in kind of the Netherrealm universe. You know, if Superman had to fight in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, what would he do? What would Catwoman do in that kind of situation? What excites me about working on Injustice is we get to play with superheroes. We get to make Superman, Batman, The Flash, Harley Quinn, characters that we've seen in cartoons and grown up with our entire lives. So to put fighting styles to each one of those characters and special moves has been really a privilege. Working on Justice has been very exciting. Uh, I'm not the only comic book fan on the team, and for all of us, this is a lifelong dream to be able to work with these iconic characters that we've been reading about and thinking about all our lives, and to actually have a chance to put our stamp on it is a really exciting opportunity. So my favorite part about working on Injustice, and this is gonna sound sappy, is I get to work with two great teams. I get to work with the NetherRealm team who made Mortal Kombat and the amazing talent here, as well as the awesome talent at DC Comics and sort of that marriage between two awesome teams is what really keeps me coming to work each day.